Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bunker Hill project, recreating the Battle of Breed's Hill, Bunker Hill. Uh, I just finished a converged unit of grenadiers for the battle, as you can see right here. Got them all done. Get the lighting down there so you can see. I also finished uh, one of the brigadiers. This is uh, one of our fellows from the Tabletop Commander's Paint and Chats, uh, Colonel Stephen Smith, commander of the 38th Regiment. He will be present. Kind of a little role playing going on for my campaign for the AWI or the American War of Independence. Got to put him on a base. He's going to be on a nice round base, a big one, be like that. I'm not just going to put him on there either. He's going to have a an extra little figure here just for good effect. Now the generals in my army will be on a slightly bigger round base, and there'll be at least two or three, more likely three figures and there'll be at least two mounted figures on it so I could tell them apart on the tabletop. But I chose to put him on a round base because, well, I just like round bases for my officers. I could have put him on this one and I'd be able to distinguish a brigadier commander from the overall army commander quite easily. But since there's only one army commander anyway, uh, it really doesn't matter. So they'll just get a bigger round base with some more figures on it. So he's all done. Just got to base them. And again, here's the Grenadiers. It's a converged Grenadier regiment. I've got different regiments of line represented with each base here. This is the 64th. Now, they didn't uh, take part in the Battle of Breed's Hill. That was a little mistake on my part. It's the 63rd, which I believe had green facings. Those are the ones I was going to paint, but I, for some reason I was thinking 64th and I gave them black facings. So that's all right. The Grenadiers at least will be part of this battle. I've got the 43rd and the 38th, and I believe the 5th. The 5th had buff trousers, waistcoats, and facings, as you can see. That's them. Looks pretty good. They turned out nice. And again, these are 28 millimeter old glory. I'm using them to bulk up my collection. I'll probably throw in some parries as well in the future. Uh, and also, I have the 38th. Captain Ian Long. Lieutenant Gavin Booth also carrying the regimental standard. Again, tabletop commander's personalities for a little role playing. And I've got the 43rd here to the fore. Very nice figures. Let's see, there's a pioneer in here somewhere. There's the drummer. Let me get focused in on there. Turned out really nice. Again, these flags are from uh, Warflag. They're free. Just download them, touch them up, add them to your bases, and there you go. There's the Pioneer. He's in the back there. Old smiley. Turned out good, and I also finished a third unit of militia for the Patriots. There's one of these units up here. I'm not sure which one it is. One of these units up here. And these are uh, four figures per base. There's going to be some bigger... Militia units coming up of 18 or 20 figures strong. They'll be based up like these if they're 18. Three, six per base. Or four per base if there's going to be 20. It'll just be five bases of four. Uh, again, it's British Grenadier rules, standard basing. <clears throat> so there they are, folks. Just look at that. All kinds of goodness. But that's my progress so far. About halfway there in terms of number of units. Let me see. I also got this done yesterday. It's a little piece of terrain, not necessarily for this particular battle, but it is done. It was laying around. Uh, I finally got around to finishing it. Something I could set among my forest. It's a little forested uh, rocky outcrop. I like it. You got some sticks on there, some clump foliage, flock, the works. It only took me about 20 minutes to do this, uh, to paint it anyway, not including drying time. But uh, it looks great. Just look at that. Beautiful. So there you go, folks. That is my progress so far. Oh, let me show you what's up next. Okay, here's what's up next. I got some British regulars. These are going to be the second Marines. It's kind of dark here. But uh, these are the second Marines. They're going to be painted up. They have white facings. They're in the march attack pose. A little bit different. I like that. Uh, 
But these are on the painting table. Next, I also have another uh, Brigadier Commander uh, to paint up, probably for the British once again. And also another militia unit, and it'll be a bigger unit uh, than what I've been painting up. 16 strong so far. I got three uh, militia units, 16 strong. I think the, the rest of them, I think there's three more, will be bigger. And there's also light infantry for the British and some skirmishers. Not very many, but a small unit of skirmishers for the Patriots. And then, of course, I have artillery. So there's plenty more to go, folks. Three or four infantry per side, plus cannon, batteries, and commanders. So that's my progress so far, folks, on the, on the project. So stay tuned, folks. I've got more to go. I've been doing this since January. Uh, look forward to more as I get these guys painted. And, of course, there will be a live play, a full bat rep, uh, both done locally. Uh, and solo of the entire battle, and I might even do a recreation of the battle where I can show off what actually happened, demonstrating it with the actual figures I got completed. Uh, it'll be fun, folks. So that's my progress so far. I hope you enjoy. Uh, stay tuned. I got more. Take care, folks. See you soon.